how to optimize YouTube videos to get more views and subscribers. Um, there are a lot of tips and tricks. I'm going to share a few of those with you today. Optimizing YouTube videos to get more views and subscribers requires a number of techniques and best practices. Uh, I'm going to share some very effective YouTube optimization tips and tricks with you. Keeping in mind that there are a lot of tips and tricks online you can follow. Just Google search it or YouTube search um, YouTube optimization tricks and you'll find a whole slew of them. But these are just a few that I found. Um, in fact, what I just did was actually two of them. I'm not sure if you can spot them or not, but um, the first key is going to be the title. Um, I'll get to that in a second. And the second would be the description, which I'll also get to in a second. But the YouTube, the YouTube machine, they, could, they call it an algorithm, um, acts like many other online app applications do, but uh, certainly unique to YouTube. Um, an algorithm, what is an alg algorithm? Kind of a fancy schmancy word, but it's a process or set of rules um, to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations, um, especially by a computer. Um, so simply understanding that, understanding the basics, you can achieve better results by playing along with these rules. Um, the three initial and more primary algorithms for YouTube that affect search engine optimization or SEO are what I'll call T uh, TDT. I'm oh, sorry, the microphone's all wacky here. TDT, um, nicknamed, I call it uh, TDT. The T stands for title, the D stands for description, and the T stands for tags. Those three things are huge with YouTube. So if you follow the TDT rule, you know, the title, the description, and the tags, um, you're gonna do very well with your YouTube videos, generally speaking. There's a lot to it, there's a lot to it, and I'm gonna try to share as much of it as I can with you, but um, the title the title is really important because um, when when YouTube, when somebody's on YouTube, put yourself in the, in the viewer's shoes, and you're on YouTube, and you're typing in something, and you want to think of the user more so than yourself and you want that title to match with what they're looking and I'm going to show you some examples of that um, but the second factor the second set of three so to me there's three and then three okay let me explain so the first three are the the TDT the title the description and the tags and then the second set of factors what I'll call TDQ which are trends draw and quality let me explain because there's actually a lot of cool stuff to this. Um, the title, the title is what reflects what people are searching for, not what you think that they want. So, um, so if I'm searching in the YouTube search bar, you know, and I go to YouTube and I want to look up how to cook bread, then your title should be how to cook bread. Not what others, you know, typically you might want to do something like, you know, cool bread baking tips I learned from my grandmother. Nobody's really going to look that up. What they're going to look up are things like how to cook bread. Um, so search, search YouTube. The first tip would be to, to seek and search for specific items that, that pertain to whatever it is you're trying to produce or promote for a video. So no matter what it is, if you're if you're working for uh, you know uh, you're creating a, a pet food company and you have the best pet food in the world, just go to YouTube and search like you're the person searching for that. What are your customers going to be searching for? So they might search for quality pet food that's safe for pets. So search it in, type it in, and when you're doing that, you're going to see a whole list of titles popping up. Those titles that YouTube puts up there are very specific titles that are based on their algorithms and what everyone else in the world is looking for on those videos, if that makes sense. So that's, that's a very good tip to do, um, and it makes a big difference on your search engine optimization. Um, so remember, use titles that your audience will search, not what you think is cool to use. That's really, really important. Um, next up would be the description. So the description is next down. So when you search for a video on YouTube and, and you see a title, um, next down under that you're going to see a description. So the description should match your title. So in, in the, for the most part it's kind of like repeating it because it's going to take a double hit for the search engines. So, 
So first up is going to be the title. Um, let's say, say again, like baking bread, you're going to imitate that or repeat that in your description as well, because that's the next place people are going to look. They're going to want to see what your video is about. Um, but also more importantly that the search engines are going to be looking for your description as well. And again, what people are searching for, and what people want to read, not what you think is just cool to write. Make it relevant. Make it apparent that, that whatever it is you're putting up there is something that other people are going to find really, really cool and useful. So the, my pro tip there is make your relevant description work with your title in a repetitive way. So title, a relevant title, and a relevant description, and make them work together. That's super, super important. So the third aspect of the, third, the first three would be the tags. So the tags, tags are search words um, that, are, that are popular or relevant. And there's a whole bunch of information on, on tags. I used to call them meta tags or keywords or whatever, but we call them tags in, uh, in YouTube. And, and that's really important to get the right tags. So again, when you're searching, if you search on YouTube for... Um, you know, the subject that you're interested in, no matter what it is, let's just say it's bicycle, uh, bicycle repair made easy, type that into the YouTube search bar and you're going to come up with a lot of information. You're going to have the a title, you're going to have probably not the description. Actually, let me go back to the description because if you go to another pro tip might be to go to find what others are doing and find videos that are performing very well with a lot of views and read their description. And you're gonna see best practices. You're gonna see a, a way to write the description that, that works very well. So kind of trace after the steps that uh, others have been successful with. I think that's a good tip to do too. But back to tags. If you go to YouTube and you search up whatever it is you're interested in, in, in looking up or creating, no matter what it is, do a search. Do several and pretend that you are the user. You are the end user and, and you are the one doing the research. Um, type that into the search bar and you're going to see a whole number of things come up. Take a screenshot of it. Take a screenshot of it. Take a screenshot of it. And look at those very carefully because those tags, that those, those strings of words are what you're going to plug into your tags in your YouTube video. So, so it's actually very easy. Now when you do that, Again, the search engines are going to do three hits. They're going to do the title, they're going to do the description, they're going to do the tags. And if you do that consistently, your ranking go go right up. And people are going to see your video, they're going to watch your videos more, um, it's going to be more relevant in the algorithm, absolutely, positively. Um, so again, make sure though that you you search YouTube for your what your audience might search for and use those keywords. I, I could say that a thousand times because it's so important. Um, and I learned that the hard way over the years. You know, I used to put up videos. Let's say um, I'm doing um, a make your own deodorant. Okay. So, and, and you know, it has um, all natural ingredients. So I might put in there, you know, the title might be uh, make, making homemade deodorant with really good ingredients. That's not going to come up in the search bar. People aren't going to search for that. What they will search for are all natural deodorant. So that's relevant. That's going to help your video become more popular on, um, on YouTube. So the next set of three, um, I, I start off with, uh, with, with trends because uh, trends, trends are what's hot today. You know, what's a big deal? And it's always changing because, you know, what's what's big today might not be so big tomorrow. And, you know, I remember years ago, you know, be it American Girl dolls used to be a thing um, years ago and now they're not. You know, pick one. Donald Trump, SpaceX, JFK back when he was president, although they didn't have web then. But anyway, um, what's trending is what will shine most. So just keep aware of what's trending. And I'll give you I'll give you a great example of that. Um the the Atari uh, game system that used to they used to make back in the 80s they're remaking that as a Atari VCS system, and that's new. That's a new trending thing that's happening. So, you know, I, I don't know if 
uh, I don't know if you're into Atari, but if you are, then, uh, you know, the Atari VCS might be a thing. That's trending. SpaceX right now is trending. Just taking a look at even this, even YouTube optimization is trending right now. So that's why I'm doing this this piece on YouTube um, tips and tricks for optimization. So just keeping aware of what's trending uh, makes a big difference in what you create and how you create it. So for example, the health industry is big right now. People care a lot about what they, um, what they do for their health. Um, you know, with COVID and everything else going on in the world, people are really concerned about their health. So trending right now is, is taking care of yourself. Um, what else is trending right now? Uh, exercising at home and working out at home. So exercise videos at home, that's a big deal. That's trending right now. So keeping that in mind when you're creating content, just just think about what's big right now. What's 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 trending right now, and um, keep that in mind when you're creating your content, and that that will help make sure that it's relevant. So be aware of what's trending today. Now the draw, what I call the draw, is very similar to the uh, uh, to trending or viral activity, and and it's what's going to draw people in. So whatever content you're creating. Is, is very important because you want to draw them in. You want to create something that's interesting. So when it comes down to the, it comes down to the wow factor, the cool factor that you create on your content. Because um, if it's if it's not if it's not cool, it doesn't have that cool factor to it, then it's it's not going to be watched as well. Um, and remember, it's what your audience is going to find interesting, what they're drawn to, not what you think they're going to be drawn to. I mean, that, that, that makes a big difference too. So my pro tip there, create content with the audience in mind, what they will react to best, what they're drawn to. Okay, so that's, that's really important. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is quality. Um, it should go without saying here, but, but quality is so, so important. So take, take the time to create quality material. Uh, really go through the steps to make sure that it's, you know, quality material means um, it'll be experienced, engaged with, reacted to, and repeatedly watched. And then remember it is a quality piece. Um, how many poor videos have you seen um, compared to how many great videos you've seen? You always want to share the great videos. Um, now granted, there's a lot of uh, bad ones that are shared too for different reasons, but make sure that it's, make sure you keep quality in mind. Um, the qualification, I'm gonna add qualification to the quality part of this too, um, because you wanna post high level content. So maybe you're at a public event and doing some speaking engagements and you want people to see what you do and, and you have some fame in the field. Um, that's going to increase your views too because you have the, the, the qualifications to add to the quality of your video. Um, you know, how many YouTube videos do you see or school, uh, you know, if you see speeches at uh, graduation ceremonies and things, those, those are considered qualification and quality videos as well. Um, so quality, from the beginning of the idea to the end, to, to when you work on your tags and everything you do in your video should be really high quality. And, and you're just gonna be guaranteed better results by showing that in your work by creating good quality content. Um, so keep that in mind too. So besides that, those are the main points right there um, to, to think about with creating or optimizing YouTube videos. So remember, these are the essentials for optimizing YouTube videos. Remember that YouTube is one of many social media platforms um, that allow you and millions of users to share video content. YouTube's big, so if you do these things correctly, you're gonna optimize or put yourself up in the rankings and, and your videos will show up. So make sure that, that YouTube is the right platform for you too though. Um, some people are fond of Facebook. Some people are fond of um, of Instagram and TikTok and you know whatever else is big for the day. Um, so make sure that it's right for you and make sure you focus on quality. Um, but then after that, remember, focus on your title, focus on your description, focus on your tags. Those are really really big. 
and uh, and then popular trends people are looking for. Make sure that's taken care of here. Um, you know what content will bring them in and overall excellent quality, and then promote it. Make sure you promote it. That's going to be really important as well, because um, it you know it's you create a video, and granted you do these things and you're going to have more popularity and more views. But that's not the whole story. You're also going to have to rely on doing the work to getting it out there. You know, email marketing, social media marketing, direct marketing, talking to your friends, family, and so forth, letting people know about it. Do all of these things and you're sure to get an uptick in watches and subscribers. Subscribers are important for YouTube as well. So those are, those are the main things. Um, I wrote a whole bunch of notes here too. Um, yeah, other factors that improve YouTube video optimization. Um, I'll go through these quickly. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking of time, time to give time to make it work. Make sure you give it a lot of time to, to have your video perform. Don't expect to put a video up there and then expect, you know, in the next day you're going to have a thousand views or 10,000 views. Now, if it goes viral, that's a possibility. Um, if it's really ex exciting and interesting, it sometimes can take off like a rocket ship and get a lot of views. But primarily, give it time. Don't don't put it out there thinking that it, it's going to perform like unbelievably well right away. Um, then you get all worked up about it, which isn't a good thing. So give it time. Give it time. Um, the next thing I, I would talk about here would be... Um, keeping in mind why you're creating a video. You're creating a video to educate or to entertain. One of those two things. I mean, that's primarily what it is, right? Everything you watch, it's either going to entertain you, ha ha he he, or entertain, um, educate you, you know, <coughs> to, excuse me, to, to teach you something. So keep that in mind behind your content. Are you educating them or are you entertaining them? And that'll help you kind of keep focused on the on the overall mission. Um, I'm gonna actually turn my lights down a little bit here. Right side. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's a little better, I think. So, um, the next thing I want to talk about, good tip is is your engagement. You know, start by engaging, keep the engagement. And then ensure final engagement when you create your videos. So what does that mean? So so start by engaging. You want to create your, your video to be interesting and intriguing in the very beginning. Um, you want to catch their attention like, wow, this is cool, you know, real cool, cool intro and great graphics and, you know, make it exciting in the beginning. Okay. That's capturing the, the engagement right off the bat. And then all along the way too, like like in the video, make sure that you intersperse graphics, special effects, different things to make it interesting all along the way. And then make sure at the end, you do a, what they call a call to action, which is sort of following up with, uh, you know, go to my website for more, go here to download the product, uh, click here to subscribe, you know how they do or whatever, you know, make sure you follow up. So the engagement is from the, from the beginning all the way to the end. Um, so that's, that's really important advice to keep the engagement from start to finish. Next tip would be not to sacrifice your values and your virtues or your brand just to get more views. Um, I think one of the big problems uh, people make or big mistakes people make is that they, they're they so worried about making, getting more more clicks and more subscribers and more views that they sort of give up their, their um, you know, their values. You know, what does that mean? You know, let's just say you have a real tight brand where you say a certain thing, you believe a certain thing and, and you have a certain level. A lot of people go beyond that and do crazy, ridiculous, or silly, or stupid things sometimes just to get the views. And you get so wrapped up with your egotistical craving for more views. And I just don't think that's a good idea because you're sacrificing your values and, and your branding of your, your, your personal branding and your professional business branding um, needs to be consistent. So um, just just remember that. Don't Don't lose yourself in the whole egotistical craving for for more views on youtube it's just it's just definitely 
definitely not worth it. Um, next tip. Um, I mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again. And I, I, I would describe this as the lemonade in the refrigerator won't sell itself. Now, what does that mean? What that means is, um, let's say you have a lemonade stand. And, okay, so you have a lemonade stand, great, this le great lemonade, and it's sitting in the refrigerator. It's not going to do anything sitting there in the refrigerator by itself. You have to go do the work. You have to get the lemonade out on the table and, and advertise and market yourself. Well, it's the same with a video. You have a great video or a great piece of content on any, any platform, actually. It's not going to do anything unless you decide to go do something about it. By actively telling the world about it, you'll get more views. It's the rule of any business, just like the lemonade stand mentality. It does nothing in the fridge. Um, you have to get it out there. You have to market it. Um, let, let as many people know about it as possible. So keep that in mind. Next up would be, oh, how do I say this? Um, think of a million views. You want a million views or whatever, you know, 100,000 views, 20,000 views. But let's just say you want a million views. Um, first, think about this. Know what kind of audience you really want and why. That's really important. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Kardashians. Most people know who the Kardashians are. They're very famous, popular t TV personalities. They get millions of views on their uh, YouTube channel. But so what? That's good for them. Good for the Kardashians. I think that's wonderful. A lot of a lot of places, a lot of people. Donald Donald Trump got millions of tweets on Twitter until the Twitter account was banned. Um, you know, I, I remember listening to uh, a rock band Metallica's um, or watching U YouTube video for Metallica, a new one they put out right when COVID was big, back in October, I believe. And I watched the video go from like two views to like, I think it was like 100,000 views within 15 minutes. It was unbelievable. Good for them. That's great. But keep in mind the kind of audience that you want on your YouTube channel and why you want them there. You have to keep focused on that and don't get lost in that whole egotistical driven, oh, I gotta have a million people, you know, whatever. Um, and, and that's important because I remember uh, year, years ago here in Sutton, Massachusetts, there was a real icy day and there was a school bus coming down the back, back road and I saw it actually spun out of control because of the ice, it was very scary. Well, some knucklehead decided to videotape it, and they added uh, the soundtrack to uh, the Magic School Bus, a kid's video. Um, the Magic School Bus is a, a funny kid's show. And put it up on YouTube. Now, the superintendent of the schools was not happy about that and demanded to take it down. They didn't take it down. It's over a million views. So is that good? I don't know. People are watching it. That's that's. I guess that's fine, but... but Think about it. Do you really want people watching something dangerous? There were kids in that bus, and then somebody could have gotten killed because there's a ledge over there. That bus could have went over. So are the 2 million views important here? Eh, I'm just challenging you to think about that. That's all. Um, so, for example, uh, let me give you another example. Um, if if you run a, uh, a yoga studio and... You want to draw, what kind of audience do you want to draw and why? Why is that an important question? Because if you decide to do some stuff, put some tags in there and do some trickery and you're inviting in, let's say, MMA fighters, okay? Um, you don't want MMA fighters looking at your videos and engaging in, in your business and going to your website. You're not going to get them there. You're not going to get, you know, out of a million views, let's take, let's, let's take the entertainment factor that I'm uh, one of the Kardashians, or let's say Conan O'Brien. They're going to be entertained. That's great if that's your, your, your thing is that you're, gonna, uh, you're going to entertain and create this cool, funny video and you get a million people. That's wonderful. But if you're a business owner and you want to create business and you want to draw an audience of people that are going to be part of your part of your business, part of your, your network, part of your, your social network, you want to cater to them. You don't just want a million views. You want a thousand viewers or a thousand subscribers or even a hundred subscribers of people that really want to know what you do and why you do it. 
So just think about that. Just think about the quality of the audience you want and why you want them. Next up, I'm going to talk about knowing your strategy and think very important about that because knowing your strategy is really important. Um, most people don't have a strategy. So they just say, I want to create a video and put it up on YouTube and hope that I get a million views. It's like no, no strategy to it. Um, so you first have to decide, is YouTube even right for you? People use Vimeo. Excuse me. People use Vide uh, Vimeo. People use Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, TikTok. There's just so many, so many platforms that people swear by. So you just have to make sure that YouTube's right for you. Don't get caught up in the, you know, wanting a million views. You have to have a strategy, a reason that you want to get YouTube and why you want a YouTube video on there in the first place. So make it part of your strategy. I think it's a good idea to integrate YouTube with your business because you can start with a commercial. You can start with a, a great uh, business video commercial about your business to do sort of a pitch video. Um, so let's say you're doing a cooking show for, for elderly people um, on your website. So you have recipes and you have um, things things that you offer to, to elderly folks on, on the keys to cooking and having a good healthy life in your elderly lifestyle. You might want to have a video on YouTube on that and um, you know, have that part of your marketing and advertising and branding strategy to have some kind of presence on YouTube because there's going to be a lot of people on YouTube. They're going to happen upon it. They're going to see your video about your elderly cooking. And it's a great way to share that and to make that part of your brand. So you can integrate YouTube with your business very easily. Um, and make it like a secondary channel for people to see. Don't give it all away on YouTube, but make you know, provide some little things on YouTube that you can share that lead back to your website. Remember, your business, your website. Don't put everything out on YouTube because that's what, what people are going to get used to and they're going to want to stay there. Um, so, so that would lead me to asking why you want fame on YouTube. So many people I talk to and, and um, consult with, they're so tied up with this fame on YouTube. It drives me nuts. They, they, you know, why, why aren't I getting a million views? You know, and it's human nature to to want to be noticed, and it's it's it's, it's absolute human nature to to be seen, to feel important, to be known. Um, it's sort of it goes back millions of years. It's sort of inbred bred in us. And I think that's what social media does. It sort of taps into that. So if you think about, you know, even uh, Facebook with their likes, you know, hey, how come you didn't like my story? Um, it's nothing personal. I just didn't click the like button. Um, so you have to ask yourself, what's your, what's your hang up with, uh, with YouTube and wanting to be famous on YouTube? Um, I think it's an important question. I think it's a valid question to ask and can at least consider. Um, so, so the, my pro tip there would be just, just consider that and ask yourself why you need to be famous on YouTube. And if you don't, you don't, but if you do, be honest with yourself and, and try, to, um, try to figure out what that's all about. Um, and then as part of that fame too, I, I would say be very careful about building fame on somebody else's platform. Because think about it. Um, we all want to be movie stars, or at least most of us want to be movie stars. It's kind of a fun, a fun notion, right? Um, what we really want to do is create a masterful brand and um, a business that thrives. And we sell a lot of stuff and we get a lot of customers and we do a lot of great things. That's ultimately what we want to do. Don't use YouTube as a portal for fame because now you're relying on the portal to do it and you're putting way too much um, effort into those other platforms which make people visit YouTube more so think about it you put up five videos ten videos 20 videos on YouTube where are people gonna keep going to go see your videos and your content YouTube they're not gonna see you anywhere else you know they're gonna rely on YouTube so don't rely on that don't rely on getting famous on YouTube unless that's part of your strategy some people 
want to become YouTube sensations and podcasters and, and vloggers and things. And that's great. If that's your business, then I'm not even talking to you right now because that's you know your business and you're doing it very well. And that's that's a whole nother ball of wax right over there. So um, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about building your brand and your business. Just be careful about building too much fame on somebody else's platform. You want your storefront, your website, and your brand to be where people come to see your content um, on that. And, and now I, I also want to tell you about the scary truth. When you post anything on any social media platform, especially uh, YouTube, they own it. They have it. It's simple. You, you upload the video. It's on their platform forever. It's on their database. God knows where, somewhere. Um, but it's there forever. Even when you delete it, they still have it on their database. It's still there. You can't get rid of it. Um, don't don't think that you uh, you're deleting and it's it's done. It's not. It's it's out there. So be careful with that because once it's there, it's on their shelf. You're putting it on their shelf, and that's just how it is. So I just think it's important to to keep that in mind. Um, that's all. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I have a couple of other things like tag searching. Um, I've already told you about tag searching and that's that's using not just YouTube. You can actually go to Google too. By the way, Google owns YouTube. Most of you know that. Some of you might not know that, but Google owns YouTube. They work together. So if you do tag searching, you could look up on YouTube tags for whatever it is you're creating and and you'll come up with a lot of great hits on you on Google that tell you the same thing with YouTube on, on what the popular trends are for for finding tags um, so you can definitely leverage Google or, or YouTube they're the same kind of the same search engine I mean kind of sort of you can also use third-party tools like if you use Chrome and you're on YouTube, you can get, you can use a third-party software called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy, and there's so many others, but TubeBuddy is an example where um, it actually has some embedded software right there on your dashboard and YouTube that help you come up with not just what the popular tags are, but what, which ones rank higher than others so you're not wasting your time. You can explore third-party tools. I try not to rely on third-party tools because third-party tools come and go in a crazy amount of time like um, how, over the years I can't tell you how many that I've gotten used to is hey oh this is great and then all of a sudden they don't update it anymore and it's gone and I've relied on it and it's gone so try them out see if you like them talk to people and see what they like I mean two buddies not that bad I actually think it's pretty cool but but um, ex experiment with them but be cautious and don't rely on them because they could go away. And if they go away, if you, you're used to using it. Now you're on your own. Um, keep in mind, too, about subscribers. Sometimes you don't want views. You want subscribers. You want people to subscribe to your channel because you want them to keep coming back. So you create a piece of content, create a video. You want to create another video. Somebody's interested. They subscribe. That's why so many of these videos you see say, please subscribe now because you want them to tune into your channel. So, so say, for example, now you have an audience of two, then five, then 20, then 50, then 100 are subscribers. They are interested in what you do. They love what you do. So you're creating content for them, for the subscribers. So keep that in mind. I think that's super important. Um, I think that's about it. I think I've covered most, mostly everything. Um, so I hope these tips have been helpful to you. Um, I've rattled quite a bit on a lot of different things. Um, I will lead you to the blog I have on this here. So if you want to read through it and get the actual written tips down in front of you, um, you can access them as well. But I do thank you for listening. I thank you for watching and thank you for your support. And I hope some of these tips can be useful to you because I really think they'll make a big difference. Um, the basic essentials of optimizing YouTube videos. Big stuff.